Hello everyone. Uh, in tonight's video I'm going to tie something that's quite unusual maybe for me because I don't tie that as much. Uh, so it's going to be a zonker. And uh, I don't tie it usually because I just don't use them as much as before. So I'm gonna start with thread that's Semper Fle 18 18.0. Uh, there is no particular reason why I'm using the thin thread as this uh, apart from it's being strong and I need it strong so the hook is size 6 I think I just found it on my desk and I'm going to try this weekend so uh, I don't use them because there is no trout where I live but there is something called army fish I made a video about it recently uh, and yeah it does eat fish from time to time so I'm gonna start with that thread I mentioned it and then I'm going to add wire wire is completely optional because this fish doesn't have teeth so it's here just to show you what I would usually do if I were tying something for the trout I would add bead as well but uh, one of the viewers asked me if I can tie a zonker uh, but without any weight and to be honest that idea is not bad at all because I will need something unweighted that imitates fish, leech or anything uh, maybe even a damsel fly but this is too big for damsels that we have here so I'm going to add two to go with the thread all the way towards the bend of the hook and then I'll stop now for the body you can choose let me just find it here okay you can choose some dubbing dubbing is fine uh, just up the body and that's it and brush it out you can use some micro channel in different different colors and this time I'm going to use the red one uh, this is called Braille it's channel if you ask me but whatever so the Braille is let me see it's it's whatever it's by the extreme it's somewhat three meters long and it's red. The reason why I'm using red is because whenever I'm using, trying to catch any predatory fish red comes to my mind because since I started to fish as a kid I was using uh, red details on my flies. So this fly is not going to have anything spectacular about it. It's just going to be made for fishing purely not for uh, fly tying competition so it's going to be a super simple one uh, so I'll attach Braille okay I learned a new name I just have it here and I like those materials to be honest now at the same point I'm going to attach uh, one of the zonker strips now let me show you two of them like look look at this one this one is like rigid like I shake it and nothing happens and look at this one this one is like it can't even stand straight so I'm gonna use the softer one and the way how I choose the length for the tail is usually one or one and a half hook lengths so from this point here I would let this tail to be this long so I can actually tie almost entire zonker here so what I do here is like this let me show you I measure it here and I'll just slip divide the divide the, the, the fur so I want to go with my thread through this well thread and braille they tangled a little bit but it's not a big deal now try to divide to split the fur and try to keep the, the skin on the top of the hook shank try not to catch any hairs I mean if you catch a few it's fine don't put any pressure of only after a couple of reps apply some pr pressure and then just go forward and that's it now I need to add this material prill and because it's like dubbing brush or chenille or whatever I'm gonna stroke back as I use it I can use my rotation here but too many things are in my way so I'm just gonna go and tie this or the hook body now the reason why I'm not using any other color is just from 
for simplicity reasons. I don't want to make it too complicated. I don't like to tie streamers too much, but Zonkers and Wooly Buggers are my two favorite streamers for trout. And like, if I need to fish two like streamers, I would choose just th these two. Everything else, in my opinion, is like just complicated, mm, complicated, making things complicated over nothing. So now, just I'll go back a little bit. I don't need to go that much. Up, just cut the excess. Now, as you can see, there are some stray fibers over here. I'll just drop back everything and go with my thread backwards. Now, you can make this head here, head part. You can make it a little bit more flat, clean, leave the eye clean as well. Now, as you can see, I have this part to play with. Now, the reason why I'm not using wire here is, I'll tell you just in a second, I just want to catch everything here first. So this is how I do it. I try to make sure that everything is on the top of the hook shank. And if it is, I'll just, or if it isn't, I just reposition it to fix everything in place do a couple of uh, wraps that are going to secure to lock everything now okay I just need to go close with my scissors as close as I can uh, I'm gonna cut those edges here so I can make cleaner with we'll finish not later Anyway, this is going to be okay. I'll put pull the skin backwards here. And yeah, this is it. Now as you can see the, the streamer is like you can leave it like this with finish and you can fish it like this. It's gonna move in the slightest of currents. For trout, I like to do this. It's a little bit time consuming, but still not a big deal. So it's useful if you have dubbing needle go through it split the fur and then go with your first wrap don't or wire don't apply too much pressure now not until you go through everything and then make an angle now press with these fingers with the left hand pull everything towards you and then pull the wire down then Go with your dubbing needle through the next next spot where you want your wire to go and go clean the spots, don't trap any, any fur here, check is everything on the top of the hook shank and that's it. Now I don't like to use too much fur on the belly side because less material on the belly side it will ensure that your streamer is going to, to ride properly so with the fur going upwards uh, if you have too much ma too many materials on the on the belly then the balance will be uh, sorry <coughs> the balance will be damaged so sort of and your streamer can flip to the side your slip your streamer can go upside down like many things hap can happen and you don't want to do that so just go with a couple of wraps with your wire through the fur above your above the hook okay and when you reach the tying point just do a couple of more wraps here just to make it more secure I mean I'm gonna cover this with UV you can certainly add maybe some dubbing here whatever way you want to cover up everything here or just make a nice neat thread head my goal is to make dubbing uh, sorry to make some eyes here to make it sort of more realistic sometimes I, I do believe that eyes can be a trigger point on streamers because eyes are one of the things that fish cannot camouflage that's why they have the imitation of eyes on their tails sometimes. So 
cut the thread. That's it. Now this is finished. Now one more thing I want to show you is I saw it on the video of Oliver Edwards when I was a kid, and he was using he was making a sculpting or something with the zonker strip again. And what he did is like he folded back. He made this. So he folded the skin, and what he got was a clump of hair here that will wobble in those currents. I don't have super glue in gel form. Uh, I tried to do it with normal super glue. It doesn't stick. It just soaks into the the skin and goes through the fur uh, uh, like up, and it will make it rigid, which is not desirable, of course. So I'm not going to do that this time. But just add drop of super glue at the end of your tail, fold it, keep it together for a couple of seconds and that's it. Of course if you do that you need a slightly longer zonker strip. Now I'm going to use some UV and eyes. Now for the UV I'm using some nail UV. So I'll take a couple of eyes, literally a couple, two you can do oversized eyes, that's okay. I put them on, on the side of my hand. So they are available. Try to keep everything clean. If you have too many hairs, dust or something, uh, the final result will be not as neat. So first I like to do one, let's say, round around everything. So I'll just squeeze out a little bit of glue here okay I haven't used it for a long time so okay it's good okay as you can see not too much at once and then I'll just push eyes into this okay now you can use your needle to help you here just place the eye on your on your needle or just what I usually do I place it from the front part and then I just move away my hand and then I just do this I cover eyes with uh, UV so bottom of the eyes above the eyes like eyes are submerged into the UV so it's going to be super super durable uh, just using cup, like a drop of super glue or any other glue on the bottom of these eyes and finishing like that it's not something that I like to do to be honest because I don't think it's durable I got some, some streamers like that and eyes would fall off almost instantly after I, after I was using it I mean yeah I, I smack with streamer from time to time somewhere but if I do it like this, it's like almost indestructible. So you will soak into everything. Now let me find my torch. It's here. <clears throat> Obviously, it's not finished completely. So as you can see, there is white belly here. I mean, you can add a strand of flesh over here if you want, but this braille will make enough flesh over here. So uh, red belly is for purely to attract some strikes from fish and the zonker is to wobble in the slightest of currents and one one little tip when you fish these things if you have bulky head it will actually make the tail work better if you're fishing for trout what I usually like to do is to cast at least 45 degrees upstream let it sink a little bit then do downstream mend and then like make a like a letter U and I'm pulling my streamer and the current is actually pushing the line so it's double the speed so if I do an upstream end I can slow down my streamer if I if I do a, a little bit more downstream end I can speed it up if I just twi twitch it with a rod I have that jerky motion of the streamer so like you can uh, make different uh, different techniques how to, to fish your streamer Okay, sorry, I just need to squeeze out a little bit more. Obviously I need to, to buy some. 
Okay. I'll just put it on the box down there. Okay. Sorry guys for waiting. Okay, so I put some UV on the box. It's easier to manipulate. I'll just stance, so I'll just spin the the, the, the big needle. I'll just make a couple of like maybe one more layer above what I just did but it's already quite well done so I don't think I don't I don't need much just a little bit more so I'll just do it in touching motions here okay This is it, definitely this is it. I don't need more. Don't forget to clean your needle. If you forget to clean it, what I do, I just burn it. That's why it's damaged so much. I mean, let me just show you. This is the new one and this is the old one. Huge difference. Anyway, I need to torch it a little bit more. So one of the last tips for this video is would be to always tie a loop knot for the for the fishing of streamers because it will add movement to your fly. And when it comes to UV, if it's sticky when you touch it, uh, take some brandy, alcohol, whatever you have with alcohol, and brush it, and it's not gonna be sticky anymore. Or if you want, you can leave it in the sun for a couple of hours, direct sunlight. It's okay and it will also uh, make it even harder if your lamp or batteries not, are not good my, my, my batteries are almost dead in this lamp and uh, so I'll have to do that later so that would be it, thank you very much for watching uh, thank you for for this viewer thank you for suggesting this fly uh, I think I will have a wonderful time fishing it because now nowadays it's like after spawning time so i guess that these army fish will actually go and chase small fish and this looks like fry a little bit bigger one but still it's gonna catch some fish guys thank you very much and see you next time